Hello, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to show you how to edit the footer in WordPress. Let's go! A footer is a website section that appears after the main body content. The footer, like the header, is usually included on every website page. Most websites use the footer area to store important links such as disclaimers, privacy policies and other essential pages. A footer section often includes but is not limited to elements like WordPress sitemap, social media icons, newsletter subscription, links to company information pages about contact details and team, link to resources, blog tutorials and courses, privacy policy and terms and conditions, events and programs, customer service, and copyright claims. But keep in mind that all of these components are not necessary. You can choose the important ones for your website to minimize a footer section that uses up half of your web page. So creating a footer is not difficult, but it can be time consuming to get the desired design. This is because each WordPress team may have a different footer layout which affects the footer styling, formatting, and features. However, this is not a reason to ignore it. A footer can improve your site in several ways. For example, visitors look for information in the footer section and it's also beneficial for increasing search engine optimization. Now, let's go over the steps of editing the footer. The footer content is written in either HTML or CSS and can be found in the footer.php file of the WordPress team. To customize the footer, you don't need to edit the file manually. You can use widgets, the WordPress customizer or a plugin. Using the WordPress built-in widget system is one of the simplest ways to edit the footer. This, however, only applies to the teams with a footer widget area. So, if yours does not, you can try another method. To access the widget area, hover on Appearance and select Widgets from your WordPress dashboard. The Widgets page is divided into Available Widgets section and the footer area. Keep in mind that the team you use may have a different number of footer areas. To edit the footer, drag and drop a widget to the footer area of your choice. Then, click on the widget to configure it and press Save once you're done. You can also use the built-in customizer to change the appearance of the footer. It shows a live preview of your website, allowing you to see the changes you made in the real time. To access the customizer, go to Appearance and then click on Customize. Then what you should look for in WordPress Customizer is Theme Options. You might find a theme footer area where you can change the colors, border and text of the footer to match the general look of the site. Widgets a footer section where various content widgets can be added, and menus, which are helpful for adding links to the footer. Once you are happy with your results, press publish. But keep in mind, not all teams have footer options. You may have to rely on just customizing widgets and menus. You can also edit the footer by using blocks, but note that it's only available if you use a block-based theme. For this example, I'm using 2022 theme. To access the editor, hover on Appearance and select Editor. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the footer area. Or you can use the focus mode to display only the footer area. To do that, open the footer focus mode by clicking on the downward arrow at the top of the navigation bar. Then click the three dots and select Edit Footer. Then the editor will only display the footer area and here you can edit your footer by adding available blocks. For this example, let's add the search block to the footer. Press on the plus button and find the search block. Once you find it, add it to your footer. Now you can customize the button's design by changing the color, border, size and so on. If you wish to rearrange the blocks on the footer, open the list view by clicking on the list icon on the top left section of the screen and simply drag and drop a block item on the list to rearrange it. If you want to edit the WordPress footer with the plugin, there are three best plugins for that. Let's take a look at them. Insert headers and footers. Insert headers and footers is a plugin that allows you to insert code and scripts without editing the team's files. Its interface is relatively simple, making it ideal plugin for beginners. This plugin doesn't require any programming knowledge to alter the footer. You can just simply copy and paste the code 
to integrate with the Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel and other services. Another tool that allows you to add snippets to the footer easily is Header Footer Code Manager. It not only allows you to add endless number of scripts and styles, but it also allows you to adjust the code placement. Aside from specific pages and posts, the snippets can also be configured to run on desktops, mobile devices or a combination of the two. Also, even if you switch the themes, the list of snippets will still be available for usage. Footer Mega Grid Columns the Footer Mega Grid Columns plugin organizes your footer's information in columns by displaying footer's widgets in a horizontal grid. The plugin is simple to use. Just drag and drop a widget on a column to show the material in the grid's view footer. And here we are! Now you know how to edit the footer in WordPress. If you have any feedback or questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time!